the all new generation of the Seat Ibiza, the small car segment here and on the Geneva Motor Show we'll take a detailed look at it exterior into and this is a special episode also with all of the different colors, well not all of the colors but a lot of different colors and trim levels, FR excellence, a base trim level, so really interesting to see them and also with my very favorite color Check, I'll check that on out uh, soon, but this one here, Desire Red, is also the launch color. Also very strong and dynamic appearance. We'll take a little look at exterior interior and all the different version. And we also will have a special interview with the head of research and development talking about the very platform of this car because it's so-called MQB-A0 and that means 30% stiffer, more similarities with bigger, with compact cars although the car has not grown. Let's go. So the length is now 4 meters 06 and usually cars grow and grow and grow and grow. This one not even just a little bit shorter, but we will still have more space on the interior. We will soon check that one out if that's, if that's really true. 18 inch rims are the biggest one you can get, but 17 inch also look um, pretty good. You will soon see that at other vehicles we do have. A very dramatic design line just above the door handles. You probably have seen also at Holgar's review from the world premiere. But today, even more versions of the Seat Ibiza and even more different interviews. Everything you need to know. And also with my size today, because here we can test if also tall drivers can really fit in this new Ibiza. And then if we continue to the rear, so far there's only the five-door version. Three-door version will also um, not be happening in this generation. Just a small window right there and the design line, the second one is beginning right there. You see here, this is the transition between the one design and the second one. And so you get a very dynamic design already with this five-door version. Looking at the rear, we also have a very dynamic setup here with those new LED tail lights. In the front you can get LED optional as well, you've also seen them. The trunk will be flipped right here. We will soon show you also more about the interior. This one here, the FR trim level set, the sporty version, but we also have other then later for you. Here, this is just a fake exhaust. Well, the real one is right there, <laughs> just below there. Um, I mean, you can always argue about if it's the right choice. I think from a design standpoint, I'm not even sure it's necessary, but I think for an fake exhaust, they have figured out the design pretty well. So the sporty FR trim level also on the inside, and there are different seats available. Those ones here are the ones with Alcantara on the inside and leatherette on the outside. Good sustainable solution without harming, harming animals. And then you also have the contrast stitches here in red. This is the racing style then. And you see they also have a little bit more side support here for going on the race trick, for example, but well, that probably won't happen uh, that easily. Here we do have the panoramic roof and you see that does reduce the headroom. Still okay with 186 or 6 foot 1, but it will be better if we leave that out for the headroom. I mean, if you're a little bit smaller, then it's totally fine. Then you have this option here with the, why not, manual shade pretty easy and a function that cannot really break. The FR trim also features a special FR steering wheel with perforated sides, red contrast stitches on the inside. This new H 8 inch screen is the top one you can get. It starts with lower screens of course. Six speed manual, there will also be different engines available, turbos without the MPI, without the turbo from a petrol engine. One diesel and then also a CNG engine. If it there will be Cupra, let's see. We can ask the, an interview, and a new, it's very slim mirror. It looks pretty fancy, but then again, it's very slim. So vision-wise, it would be a little bit better if it maybe just a little taller here. Here, for example, the glove box, smooth sliding down, and well, handbook and stuff you can put there and also a net for example for a co-driver phone for example you could put there when you when you charge it with the cable there and here in our white car also FIR trim level you have a different seat option so you can pick that it's no, not Alcantara in the middle it's um, also a fabric it's um, again different they have really different fabric so you can really pick which one you like best um, it's a little bit 
you would say more even surface. There's also one other um, available which is a little bit rougher from the surface. Um, you can also check that out. But that's the good thing today. We are showing you so much different seats inside and colors outside today. You can really tell me then what would be your favorite option. So Michelle and me, Michelle, our cameraman, have big discussion at the moment because he actually prefers the red car we had initially. And this is totally my Thomas Blue car. It's Mediterranean blue and... Wow. I mean, I'm not actually personally interested in the small car segment, like for myself. But this one here is such a beauty. I mean, dynamic design and... I got the microphone here. <laughs> blue, 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 blue. <laughs> so I, I would stay with the blue. I mean, so beautiful. Nice nuances in the color shade there, and this one here also equipped with um, 17 inch rims, so not the biggest 18, but surely enough. And I think this one here now, to me, I think probably the most beautiful small car there is. Let's get inside, here we go, and wow, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just flabbergasted today here. Um, and you know, it's a great seat surface here. It's um, not a very special seat, we're like with Alcantara, no racing seat. This is not the FR, not the excellent trim level. But you still already have very interesting seat surface. It's a mesh structure and um, it's also a little bit rough. But that can give you good climate conditions that you know don't have an, uh, a very flat surface. Here more air can actually circulate and the seats look pretty much sporty already so it's a very comfortable seating position and um, could also very well imagine some longer trips here as well um, here you can see that the, um, uh, you know the, the, the surface here is also in very interesting by the way because it's um, it has some microstructure in it very interesting to feel and I think it adds a lot of essence if you compare it to this shiny glossy black surfaces we also have available uh, and this one also does not collect any fingerprints so i would probably prefer that one here a normal steering wheel but compact in the size you can also adjust it here in all four directions again and pretty good mechanism you can always see some i mean when i'm having the microphone here some wheels you can adjust but not with one hand no one does it but it's a good sign if the mechanism is working smoothly so Sometimes you have to really <laughs> rip the steering wheel apart almost. Here a five-speed manual gearbox as well and I can already feel here that the shifting process is pretty smooth. So again looking forward to drive this vehicle then very soon. Hey, a handbrake that I can still do, you know, my drifting stuff and what I always doing with Seat Ibiza on the road and stuff. And that's probably the reason they still left the manual handbrake in there. And this one here, the color is called Magenta Mystique and is surely a color that is dividing opinions. I think this one is really something love or hate for sure. But what is even more interesting about this car, also compare the different front from the FR trim level, this one here is the Excellence trim level, which one will especially be interesting also in the interior. Excellent trim level is not as sporty in the lower part, but it has a little bit more elegance. This is the direction, also does not have an FR logo. It has a special front grille here. See those horizontal fins, which have the shiny surface on the top. And here we go with the interior. And a very interesting thing is, um, for example, here, material quality, the top part is hard plastic. Then we have the shiny black surface. And then we have leather red hues with a good style, premium quality. Also here, four automatic door handles. And then on the inside, I mean, those shiny black surfaces, I don't like them that much because they collect a lot of fingerprints, especially in the motor show. It won't be as bad as your car at home. But the special thing about the excellent trim level, not only X on the steering wheel, is that here you've got Alcantara seats, so in the, mid in the middle, microfiber, and outside leather reds, and this is the way to go. This is the way you make premium seats, which look good and also feel good, but still don't harm the environment. And well, for a, for a small car, those seats are really wide and this is really the thing I think has to do with the new platform the car uh, is on. Because so far, I mean, 
remember again, the car is not longer than before. It's even just slight, slightly shorter. But when you sit down here now and feel the car and how spacious it is, it's not really feeling like the old Ibiza, which was clearly a small car. So if I would like close my eyes and open it and someone say, hey, that's a new Leon facelift. I say, oh, really, a Leon facelift? So to me, it is actually a small Leon. And so the Ibiza, um, I was not that comfortable in it yet because of my, my height, one meters 86 or six foot one. You have a lot of headroom left and really surprised by this very spacious feeling and the excellence trim again more trimmed to the um, let's say elegant part but i think i do like the fr paw, fr style a little bit more but those alcantara seats are really good very comfortable a lot of seat surface there is and i think um this really sets some new standards for the small car segment for sure that also you can feel better in it especially as tall drivers too and here we go with the new infotainment system. This one is the one you optionally have. The smaller one will be a little bit smaller and also a little different from a, from a setup. Here you have two knobs left for the volume and then for example for scrolling in the menu or also zooming in in the infotainment system. But you all can do that like this. It's an interesting surface. The surface is very um, smartphone alike with this glass. Uh, feels very interesting. but. Microfiber tissue might be definitely a good idea to have uh, some of those here. You can put your uh, cat also <laughs> in an image right there. Apple CarPlay is possible, but you can also connect your phone via Bluetooth like this. Um, I would usually just go for the Bluetooth version, then vehicle, um, like consumption setup that is possible, and also the GPS. So all hotkeys um, are available here at the moment. It's not activated because it's a show car. Overall, a nice integration, looks really premium-like, even though it's the highest trim, you don't have to pay so much money then. And a heart-beating start engine stop button. We also have seen that in the Alteca, originally inspired by Jaguar cars, and brings some more emotional element in here. And the instruments, analog, but very clear, they always remind me of Audi instruments, don't they? USB ports, one, two, and aux in, and this is also the symbol here. Option you can get this inductive charging method if your smartphone or your smartphone case is suitable for that. And now getting in the rear compartment, here we go. This is always very interesting because so far, well, so far I could not really sit in the rear of the Ibiza. You can check the Ibiza facelift um, full driving review, how it was there, and it's definitely a different result. So you have gained a lot of knee room here. Wow, what a package for a small car. That is great. And also headroom wise, um, especially if you don't leave out the panoramic roof. Again, I'm one means 86 or six foot one. And this is, uh, wow, this is a huge step forward, especially in the small car segment. That is so important because so far, for example, I could better sit in a Seat Me than because there were upright seats and stuff than in the Seat Ibiza. But this one here offers more comfort and I'm really looking forward also to drive this car if the long-term comfort will also be confirmed while riding it. But so far here, I mean, good offering of space. Then there's also Isofix anchor points at the lower parts of the seats. You can also um, flip the seats here from the rear, like this. It's a, for example, here on this top tether also available. And then. I would say, let's check out the boot. Fancy taillights right here, LED technology. And then we can open the hatch. And here we go with the new trunk. And you see even more space being used. You can, however, put that one here also above it. So this would be the optional replacement tire. And you can also put the boot cover like this that you have an even surface. Um, to flip the seats, well, you can reach over here like this. It's not the most handy solution, but it is theoretically possible. But better to do it from the f um, from the rear, unless you have the, the cover here demounted. But I think really the biggest strength of this car is the package, the space that is being offered in the relation to the length outside. 18-inch rims, here also an FR version in another color, this one here, a gray one, which would be less screaming out as a color. And indeed, I mean, we always prefer to present you very bright and spectacular colors, but 
most of the times more conservative colors are being bought. I would like to hear your opinion on that one. Which color would you actually go for? I really love to show you different color versions here right today. By the way, also black contrasting mirror caps here for this very vehicle and also with those black rims. This is the rather dark look, so it comes close to a Cupra look and we will ask also Matthias Rabe, Head of Research and Development, very soon if there might be a Cupra version for this generation. FR in white and I like white cars when they are clean. That's the problem, you have to go to the car wash pr pretty often. The only thing that um, doesn't come into such a big effect is here the front hood. The accentuations you see here, I think in the other darker colors, uh, they play a little bit bigger role. And with Matthias Rabe, Head of Research and Development at Seat, we want to dig deeper into the subject, especially about the platform of the all-new Seat Ibiza. So, as I heard it for the first time, I'm thinking, hmm, a platform that is usually meant for a compact car, for a small car segment vehicle, how does it comply? Yeah, first of all, we are very happy to show here in Geneva the, the new Ibiza, which is, uh, for our point of view, really a fantastic new car. And the new platform, which is really designed for that class of compact car, allows us a, a lot of new things. I, and, and I would like to describe something. First of all, for us it was important not to let the car grow. Yeah, from the outside, as I mentioned, from the length, it didn't grow, but the car looks much more dynamic and sporty. That's due to the, to the uh, extended wheelbase. By 90 mils, the wheelbase is, uh, is uh, extended, and also the wheel diameter is extended, which gives a much better package. That means more inside space, more, more trunk space. And also the designer love it because they can make a much better design because you have shorter overhang, you have the big wheels, and that's, uh, that's basically the new platform. But the platform allows more. With the platform, we have the access to new, uh, more driver, uh, advanced driver assistance system. And with the platform, together with the hut, with, with all the, uh, with the body, we improved the body stiffness by 30%, which gives a perfect drivability, perfect noise vibration, harsh and really profound to drive. So is it the small Leon now? Um, no, Ibiza is not a small Leon. Ibiza is Ibiza. Ibiza is 32 years old. It's the fifth generation now. It's the longest history we have. And uh, it's the best Ibiza ever. And uh, for sure, the car goes a little bit in the direction of Leon. Huh? So what are your favorite features with the new Ibiza? Maybe also some with, let's say, a little bit more research and development background. Yeah, I, I already described something from the technical side, like the inside space, uh, like the stiffness, uh, like the drivability, which is really outstanding. We have to test the car. But as you can see, we have some more things. We bring the LED lights, the full LED headlight, for example, in that class. We have LED rear light. We bring a lot of premium features in that segment uh, to, the, to the Ibiza. For example, we have full connectivity. We have the 8-inch uh, black screen and... Uh, Yes, that's basically that's, that's some of the most important thing. And the car is pure set. For me, it's very important. For us, it's very important set. Even if you if you cover the logo, the car has to be recognized as a set. And there we did a lot in the past, really, to describe our set design DNA. And this car is reflecting that it's young, it's, fre uh, it's fresh, and it's a typical set. So far, we had the three-door version, we had the five-door version, we had the Estate, we had the Cupra version. Of course, a small car segment is always problematic with the margins, you know, you have to, you have to still earn money. So what are your plans now for the Ibiza? Now it's, we see the 5 door version, what else can we expect and what can we maybe not expect? Now, first of all, we concentrate on the 5 door version. That means there will be no 3 door version. Why? Because with that design, with that really stretch and sporty design, we combine in principle the sportiness of the 3 door coupe with the functionality of the five door. And that's what the customer want. We assess that and I think we are on the a, on a right way with that. And um, that, that will be our, our interpretation of the Ibiza. Uh, what you can see on that new platform, we will see more cars. That means in the summer of this year, we will launch the Arona. Arona, but it's a totally different car. It's an SUV, it's a crossover. Uh, very nice. I think it's an extremely attractive car. You will see it. And um, it will come some more in that direction. In principle, all the other thing is open. We will see. Yeah, because a lot of customers are saying, ah, is it, will you give me a Cupra, a Cupra, a Cupra, a Cupra? All the fanboys, fanboys especially, you know. But um, you cannot give us any hints or so. First of all, I'm a biggest fan of Cupra. And we really, we did a lot for Cupra. And um, 
But uh, the heart of Cupra is the Leon. And with the today's Leon, you know, we, we, we improved the Cupra. We go now to 300 horsepower. But more important than the performance is the torque. With the torque, we go from 350 to 380 newton meters. That's something you really feel on a very wide uh, RPM region from 1,800 to 5,500, 380 newton meters. Fantastic. In the Leon, we combine the first time also the, the Cupra with the four-wheel drive, with the ST. Yeah. I personally like a lot the agility of the two-wheel drive, yeah, especially if you go on a racetrack, it's faster there. But for the normal drivability, especially in the mountain area like here or in the winter, uh, it's fantastic with the, with the four-drive. And that means Cupra is Leon, but be sure you will see much more of Cupra in the future. Uh, just wait a while and you will see fantastic cars, more fantastic cars, more than Leon. Yeah, we've already experienced the Seat Leon Cupra in the new um, horsepower trim, 300 horsepower, and also the all-way drive. Check out that review as well. And thank you here so much for having us here for the inside. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Thank you. And now to our conclusion, Seat Ibiza in the all-new generation and some more colors and trims. And I have to say, I'm really surprised. I've always seen, of course, the world premiere coverage from Holger. Here now taking a look at myself and also experiences how how much room there is actually inside also for tall drivers. I'm really amazed and um, this is a huge step forward for the brand. Especially, you know, attracting more customers who might say, hmm, I might go for a smaller car because this one is extra enough, features enough room inside, I don't have to pay so much money. And also it's um, more versatile for the city because it's really not a long car, not at all. Also good materials being used, well, that one plastic side on the inside of the door on the top part, that could maybe be improved. Everything else was really very good. Interesting seat surfaces. Seat shows that we can have a lot of different interesting seat setup, different materials, all sustainable. And I really like that you have the choice to pick. And wow, that I mean, the red one is really a very strong color for sure. This desire red, but the Mediterranean blue. Wow, this is really one of my favorite colors. And especially if combination with those bright seats, I think I would. Just pick the car exactly as it is there right now. And now it's time for your comments. What do you think about the all-new Seat Ibiza? Thank you.